You're watching award-winning D93 News with Samantha Williams and Phil Campbell. Number one in the Gem State. Hello and welcome to D93 News. We are exactly one month away from Election Day. That's right, Phil. The March 13th bond election will build and furnish a new 1000 core middle school, construct safety improvements at Falls Valley, install a new roof at Iona, pay for designs for future renovations at Bonneville and Hillcrest, acquire land for future school sites, and here's the kicker, all of these needs would be met without increasing the tax levy rate, meaning this bond won't change your taxes one way or the other. It simply allows the district to use those funds for the purposes stated on the ballot. Now we want you to make an informed decision on the bond. That's why we have additional information available. You can find that on our website. There will also be some community meetings coming up at, so you can ask your questions and learn more about the bond. And last week, members of the district's leadership team, the superintendent and Greg Calder of the Board of Trustees met with the local chapter of the Idaho Farm Bureau to discuss the bond with them. Absentee voting starts on February 26th. Now, because of all of this growth, D93 is now the largest school district outside of the Treasure Valley. D93 topped the Pocatello Chubbuck School District in student enrollment in November, which makes us the fourth largest school district in Idaho. D93 continues to grow faster than any other large school district in Idaho, and this growth is a big reason why the March 13th bond will not increase the tax levy rate. Well, it's a fulfilling job that almost is always hiring. We're talking about school bus drivers and Katie Kelleher has more on what area school districts are doing to fill these important positions. The kids had you know, a rough time at home and they get on and they have a, a bus driver who welcomes them and is happy to see them. It just starts setting their day off the whole way. Bus drivers are an essential part of the school day. Darlene Bender has been driving for Bonneville School District 93 for 13 years. Her favorite part of the job is the kids on her bus. The kindergarten kids. They come up with such things that say to you or stories, and I love them. They're just really fun. Area school districts are facing extreme shortages for school bus drivers. It's so bad that even the director of transportation for District 93, Michael Graham, sometimes has to drive. Everybody from my management team, the office staff, even my mechanics have been driving this year. So what is causing such a shortage? One reason is the low unemployment rate. Whenever we see low unemployment rates in a full employment market, we struggle to find um, bus drivers. There's just lots of competition for the workers that are available in the community. One other potential factor is wages. On average, bus drivers make around $15 an hour. D93 increased wages for bus drivers, but are still facing a shortage. They've also started a program called We Hear the Thunder to address issues. We're trying to be very proactive in our recruiting equipment and also we're looking at the ways of working, seeing if we can be more flexible in some areas. For District 93, the situation is about to get worse with the new Thunder Ridge High School opening this fall. The biggest challenge we're looking at is the fact that the new high school will be opening up in the fall of 2018. And between now and then, I need 20 additional drivers. It's one of the challenges with the growth that we see with students is it's not just new buildings we have to have and more teachers we have to hire, but we have to hire more um, kitchen workers, more custodians, and more bus drivers. In order to become a school bus driver, you must have a clean driving record and background, good defensive driving skills, and most of all, a love for kids. Their safety is the most important part of the job. Our drivers drive hundreds of, of miles um, and transport thousands of kids safely to school and then back home again every day. And they, they really are a critical piece of what we do. Well, however many kids are on your route that day, that's how many kids that you have to watch for their safety. Becoming a bus driver also means you're joining a family. For Bender, that family atmosphere is what keeps her driving. <laughs> the people you work with and the kids that you drive. They're special. Well, thanks, Katie. Now, this would be a good time to mention our hiring event that's coming up soon. The hiring event is being held on Thursday, February 22nd at Hillcrest High School. You can find more information about this in our events tab on our Facebook page. Students at Sand Creek were awarded for participating in the Patriot Pen Essay Contest. The students did an essay on their own time, 
but a couple of guest speakers were brought in during lunch to give them some ideas and a little encouragement. Regional History Day is being hosted by Rocky Mountain Middle School and they need judges. This is a regional competition for all East Idaho students from 4th to 12th grade. They choose a historical topic based on a theme. This year's theme is conflict and compromise in history. The students do research and create a performance, an exhibit, paper, documentary, or website to showcase their topic and research. They are asking for the community to help with judging. You don't have to have any history knowledge, just willingness to help. They will train you on what to look for and what to ask. They'll even serve you lunch. So please contact Rocky Mountain Middle School for more information. Well, sometimes when we're doing a Facebook Live, we, uh, you know, well, mostly me, I forget to turn the microphone on or replace the batteries. And we saw some of that Friday night. But it was that good we wanted to bring it back. Fifth grade, Mrs. Smith's class over tiebreaker, they started a sewing club, and we saw that at the Winter Carnival. That's right. We got to see firsthand at how so successful the club is, especially with a little bit of help from fellow classmates. Each class was given a quilt square to decorate and contribute to the project. In the end, the quilt was auctioned off at the carnival in the going once, twice, sold to the highest bidder was $90. Great job, tiebreaker. Nice job. Yeah. Well, the list continues for D90. Three news sponsors. Uh, last week, East Idaho Credit Union presented us with a check that makes them our largest sponsor to date. They are sponsoring a new segment each week where we highlight something positive that's happening in our D93 community. Last week, we were at uh, Discovery. East Idaho Credit Union is committed to the people in our area, and they are excited for this new partnership with D93 News. So we are invested in our community and we're invested in our members and we are so excited to be able to do and uh, partner with D93 to provide stories that feel good, that draw out your heart, that matter, they mean a lot. The students are the number one priority and we're excited to partner. Now one of East Idaho Credit Union's biggest events each year is of course the Coins for Christmas campaign. This year Rimrock set a new all-time record for coins and to celebrate, East Idaho Credit Union rented out the Paramount Theater for a movie party. We were there this morning as they watched the movie Coco. How exciting is this? It's great! Why are you guys excited? Because I love the movie! Yeah. Uh, yeah. And you helped out with that, you help kids get shoes, right? Yeah! How does it feel to help those kids out? Great! Uh, Coco, that's a movie they were able to see this morning. Great movie. Have you seen it yet? I have not seen it. My husband, who doesn't normally like animated movies, loved it. He said it was a great movie and uh, he actually, I think, wants to buy it. Incredible uh, incentive for those kids over at Rimrock, too, and, and great organization, East Idaho Credit Union, to go and, and get the theater for them and, and make that big movie party, but even greater cause. I love that Coins for Christmas campaign. Absolutely. It's awesome to see these kids just bring their change in and whatever they can find. I mean, we're talking couch change, and it's amazing at what little people can do to make a big difference in this world. We'll see you next time on D93 News.